Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Game Straighty One. First off, a uh, huge thank you to Johnny, happy console gamer, uh, for the very kind words and a shout out to my, to my channel. I uh, got like 350 subs the last couple days, and, and thank you for subbing. Uh, for those who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Uh, but again, thank you, Johnny. Really appreciate it. Check out his channel if you guys aren't subbed. I'm sure most of you guys are subbed to him anyway. But if you haven't, dude, check out his channel. He's got a lot of great videos, and he knows his games, and he's just a really positive, down to earth guy. So thank you so much for that. Uh, but I do want to show you a review on a very interesting handheld. It's called the Nokia N-Gage. It came out in 2003, so let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so here is a closer look at the N-Gage. This is the QD. This is uh, the second version of this game system or handheld or phone, whatever you want to call it. The initial one was released in 2003. This model was released in 2004, a year later. They addressed some issues. Main main issues were, with the original one, were the games. Now the games are looked, I'll show you. They look a lot like DS games, right? They're like SD cards. And in order to get the games in on the original model, you actually have to take the battery out and put the games in, which is a pain in the ass. Also, uh, the speaker and the microphone were on the side of the phone. So in order to talk into it clearly and hear people clearly, a lot of people held it on the side of their head. And they call it kind of like a made fun people talking taco. and it just was a really bad design. Now in the States, it was this was sold through Singular Wireless, and it could only be used through Singular Wireless. And what would happen was, this was marketed through like shops like GameStop and Electronic Boutique. It wasn't necessarily marketed at phone Singular Wireless stores or phone stores. So that was kind of a mistake on their end. Later on, uh, Nokia dropped the N-Gage, uh, and they actually went to uh, online, just downloadable content like uh, apps like you have today. Uh, but I think as of this year, they're actually going to stop doing that, uh, is what Nokia kind of announced. But nevertheless, they actually had some really good games released for this handheld. Let's take a closer look at some of them I have. And e they're not common, but they're not expensive either, which is good. I got the, each of these for like five bucks. Uh, Tomb Raider. This is Sonic, and this is uh, basically the same one as a Game Boy Advance version. It runs a little bit slower, but not bad. Call of Duty, which is actually a pretty fun game to play on this. This is a uh, Bomberman. I got Splinter Cell. Spider-Man 2. This is Ashen. Shadow. Uh, this is Elder Scrolls. Pretty cool. And then uh, Moto GP. Now some of the design flaws on this second model they had were several. Well, there was a big rubber band or rubber piece that would come across uh, all over process thing. And unfortunately, due to time, they fell off pretty easily. And, and in my case, when I got it, it was pretty much half off already within the first couple of weeks and just fell off. I just took it off. It's not a big, huge deal. The screen I still don't like. It's taller than it is wide. Uh, but you've got your directional pad here. You your, these are your numbers. You can dial in or out, whatever. But these two ones right here are clear. These are your AB buttons right here. Um, and then this is your start button. This check. And this is your power button. So let's power this bad boy on and, and check it out. We're going to turn off flight so you can see it a little bit better. These are what the games look like. And we're going to plug it in. Like slide it in like so. Okay. And let's power this bad boy on. I figured it'd be a little bit more clear to see when the light's off. Try to hold it as steady as I can. Playing through the camera here, so it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. <laughs> this is Call of Duty, there's a game I have on here. We've got like a menu button here. Um, got different, you know, Bluetooth. You can play uh, on the arena, you can play actually online with other players and stuff, which is cool. You need the service to do that, um, and let's play Call of Duty. The graphics are, are pretty equivalent to like a little bit better than PS1 graphics, I would say. I guess the benefit of having it on the card, not downloaded, is it doesn't take any memory up on your phone, which is cool. So that's the uh, definite plus. It 
it's loading. There's definitely some load time for sure. Everybody set. Let's go. Martin, give me cover and fire. You know, look up and down, but. But yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to like I said, it's hard to play through the the camera here. But you can look up, look up and down. And you guys can get the idea for uh, the graphics. Let's check out uh, Sonic N, shall we? A little game that you guys might be familiar with as well. All right. Choose your characters, you got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy. Let's do Sonic. The music isn't that great for this thing, to be honest with you. Still pretty good speed though, decent speed. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks again for uh, subscribing and all your guys' support. Until next time, uh, game strategy, you want to check it out. Take care, bye-bye.